Hello everyone and a blessed Ash Wednesday to all of you out there on YouTube land. Um, it is a blessing for me to communicate to you in this manner. As we begin this blessed season of Lent, as you see, went to Ash Wednesday Mass this morning, celebrated with my school children, and wanted to talk a little bit about Ash Wednesday and also about the upcoming 40 days. Uh, a lot of people talk about, and a lot of people probably been meditating the last few days, what am I going to give up for Lent? Uh, and we've, we spend, sometimes we spend a lot of time thinking about it. Sometimes you're probably thinking right now, what am I going to give up for Lent? And we're halfway through Ash Wednesday. Um, I personally gave up social media, all forms of social media. I know that I am using a form of social media right now, but it is a video that I am recording um, while my phone is on airplane mode and I will upload to YouTube and then use the YouTube link to tweet it out and then it'll go out to all my platforms. But the uh, reason why I did that is because me and all of us spend so much time and waste so much time on social media and face it, if you look at Facebook nowadays, it has become a wasteland of political discourse and of people just posting things that really aren't, don't uh, help us pursue, you know, the spiritual life. We are not doing things that that are will enhance our spiritual life. So I decided to give it up, at least for Lent, and who knows after that? We'll see. I know I, a lot of people will complain. Well, Father, use it for good things uh, to spread uh, to spread the good news, and well, this is how I'm doing it today. But yesterday, the reason I'm doing it is yesterday I realized I did my prayers when I woke up yesterday. It was my day off. Did my prayers. was thinking about what I was going to give for Lent. And then after I did my prayers, I went on Facebook and then uh, started clicking on links that people were posting and, and, on, and then went on Twitter and then all these things and spent nearly an hour, literally went down the Facebook and social media uh, rabbit hole. Spent nearly an hour just you know, scrolling down and clicking on links. And I, and I thought to myself, there has to be a better use and there is a better use of my time. So I dedicate my time to prayer this Lent that I would be using it on, on, on these things. Dedicate your time to, to more noble pursuits is what I'm trying to say. Now, as we go forward in Lent, there's a, there's a reading that has stuck with me uh, since Monday. That It wasn't during Lent, but kind of prepared me for Lent personally. Every, every Monday I, I celebrate Mass for my Carmelite nuns here in, uh, that live in our parish. And one of the things that, that helps slow me down, uh, at least spiritually, is that because my nuns are from, from Mexico, and I've been in Mexico three times on missions, their sense of time is a lot different than mine, and a lot different than ours. And so they say the Mass and do the prayers very slowly, which forces me to celebrate the Mass slower. And that's something that one of my spiritual directors uh, has always challenged me on especially when I celebrate Mass in Spanish. And so when I was reading uh, the first reading on, on, um, on Monday, I go, this is a perfect Lenten reading, and yet it wasn't during Lent. The reading is from the book of Sirach, and I'll tell you which it is. It's Sirach chapter 17, verses 20 to 24, and I invite you to look it up and to meditate on it today. I know it's not one of the readings that you'll hear at Mass today, but it's still worth your, your, your meditation. And these are the, the verses, I don't want to read the whole thing, these are the verses that stood out to me. It says, return to God and give up sin. You hear that, and that's basically what they say to you when they put the ashes on your forehead. Repent and believe in the gospel. We used to say in the old translation of the Mass, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Now, it says, return to, sin and give, return to him and give up sin. Pray to the Lord and make your offenses few. All right. Whatever we give up for Lent, or whatever we do for Lent, let it be something that brings us closer to him brings us closer to Jesus. And if we do something that brings us closer to Jesus, then our offenses will be few. We will notice that we'll be sinning less. And then this phrase, this verse really jumped out at me. The other day I mentioned in Mass, uh, I didn't like to use the word hate, but here the book of Sirach uses it. Hate intensely what God loathes. Listen to that. Hate intensely what God loathes. He loathes sin because it separates us from him. And Lent is all about us rediscovering how much God loves us. You know, it was a beautiful article that I read, and I'll probably get into it later on in Lent. A beautiful article that I read about Andrew Garfield who did the movie Silence and he did the spiritual exercises. And he said, what I learned from the spiritual exercises is how easy it is to fall in love with Jesus Christ. So, 
hate intensely what he loathes. Turn away from sin, repent, and believe in the gospel. We hear those words today when the ashes are placed on our forehead. And like I told the children, the ashes, and I was trying to explain to the children, the ashes remind us. We are dust into dust, we shall return. They remind us how small we are compared to him. How small we are compared to God. And how much we need God to walk with us during this Lenten journey. So there you have it. I gave up all forms of social media. There won't be much interaction. If you want to interact with me, call me up. It's the old days. Pick up the phone and call me. If you have my phone number, cell number, which very few do, text me or call me up in the office. Love to talk to you. But at least through social media, which is supposed to keep us more connected, but really isn't doing so. Let's talk to each other, engage each other, and engage him. He's waiting for you. He hates sin and wants us to return to him. God bless.